What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today we're going to take a look at more Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay right here on the channel and this video we're going to be using an SMG kind of going over what I really like about it and how this weapon feels and of course there's a ton more Black Ops 3 gameplay on this channel so make sure you have a look around for more Black Ops 3 footage. This is a new map called Stronghold and I've shown off all four maps. The first one was called Evac and that was with the HVK and then we moved on to Hunted, that was a really cool map as well. I really like that, it's probably one of my favourites and then we also moved on to uh, Combine and that was with the uh, Ashiva Assault rifle that i showed you with a one shot kill and now finally we're going to take a look at strongholds these are all for the multiplayer maps that we've got to take a look at and of course there's a ton more gameplay that i've recorded and a lot more stuff i want to show you guys so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the future uploads and also give the video a like rating if you do enjoy it and if you're excited for black Ops 3 and they can also let me know in the comment section if there's any specific videos you want to see from me any kind of like in particular things that you might want me to make a video on also leave those in the comment section below but first off we're going to take a look at the class loadout that i was using as always to kind of give you some context of what i was using in this video because you guys really interested in what class loadouts I was using and what kind of things are available. So some machine gun I was using was called the CUDA and of course that is the primary slot and then in optics I wasn't using anything I was just using the iron sights but I think they're really really nice iron sights that like probably one of my favorites in the game that I saw so far so I didn't actually rock any uh, kind of optic on it a red dot sight. The attachments the first one was extended clip of course more ammo in the magazine before you have to reload. I was also using the quick draw grip which means I can aim my sight faster as always and of course the fore grip which means less recoil and finally I was using the stock which means I can move faster when I'm aiming down sight and that is really useful with submachine guns you can strafe people really fast now because I wasn't using all six attachments like I sometimes was this allows me to use other points in other categories and I was using uh, two perks in the perk one so I had perk one greed on and uh, that's of course a wild card in the bottom right there and the perk one I was using was ghost it worked in the same way as black ops series has been and uh, it actually works very similar to black ops 2 specifically because you have to be moving for it to actually work which is really cool which prevents camping you can't see it in a corner and be hidden you have to actually be on the move if you want to be hidden from the actual UAV radar so the uh, ghost perk is going to hide me from the UAV sweeping if I'm moving the second tier one perk I was using was called afterburner so it's slightly different to blast suppressor which I was rocking for most of the time and what afterburner does is it reduces the cooldown for your actual thruster packs and your thrust movement so you can do these boost jumps and wall runs a lot kind of quicker and then you can like it will recharge a lot faster so you can basically do those a lot more and it's basically a lot more mobile so this is a very mobile class and in perk two I was actually rocking fast hands that allows me to aim down sight quicker after I've been sprinting and in case you didn't know there's no lightweight and no marathon in this build of the game that's what track are kind of going for and they kind of emphasize that a lot in the uh, kind of presentations that I've heard and they did say they don't want anyone to be kind of like having to have a difference in movement speed and they don't want some people to have an advantage they want the whole game to be moving very fast they want everyone to be able to be uh, moving at top speeds there's no lightweight and no uh, marathon or kind of way to extend your sprint everyone has unlimited sprint in Black Ops 3 which is pretty interesting and it'll be interesting to see whether that stays like that and uh, let's get into some gameplay of this thing I really really like this submachine gun because it feels very viable to use at kind of long and medium ranges like you can see in this gameplay i was doing really well of course the close ranges i was just kind of melting people this thing is a very very good weapon and of course the kill time is pretty low with this thing so it kind of feels good to use but of course the iron sights as well remind me of the mp5 from the old call of duty games especially from i think cod 4 the mp5 probably one of the most fan favorite weapons in the game to be honest i'm sure a ton of you guys will think of the mp5 from cod 4 when you see this weapon and like i said you just don't need a red dot sight on this thing i think the iron sights are perfect i think this map also works very well with submachine guns a lot of the lines of sight that I went down were specifically kind of tailored for submachine guns and close quarters gunfights there's probably one more like longer range maps because there are some decent sniper lines of sight and I did get a sniping gameplay on this map that you guys will see at some point as well but uh, there are a lot of like sniping lines of sight and like very much for assault rifles but the areas that I was sticking to were very much tailored for submachine guns there were some really close quarters kind of like spawning locations and I was kind of like running around just kind of terrorizing them as they came out of their spawns so it was really good to wear rock around with this weapon actually do really well with it i managed to pick up a few kill streaks as well the kill streaks i was using in case you're wondering are the uav at the bottom there the care package in the middle and the lightning strikes are very classic score streaks unfortunately i didn't really get to experiment too much i keep i kept forgetting to uh, actually toggle them because they weren't in the actual creator class option they were in the different kind of score streaks loadout in the menu just like black ops 2 was but i kept forgetting to change my score streak so i've got a few uh, kind of like random ones out of the care package but for the most part i was rocking like the, the sort of medium score streaks and the lightning strike was pretty decent i did enjoy using that especially how like the holographic uh, map comes out of your arms well, that's pretty cool as well and uh, in terms of course characters I was using Reaper he is the robot I think he's probably one of my favorites to be honest I really really like his uh, scythe which is, of course a minigun which comes out of his arm so of course his power weapon every character has power weapons and power abilities and the ability is a little bit more kind of subtle they're a bit more uh, kind of like personal they're almost like having the specialist bonus from Modern Warfare 3 they make you really powerful so you've got one that allows you I think it's outright that allows you to see through walls for a few seconds 
and see enemy players that might be around you. There's one that kind of gives you the super version of Hardline and more score, and there's another with Ruin that gives you increased movement speed by a lot. So they're more kind of like uh, subtle, and there's power weapons, of course, which are very aggressive, and they literally are weapons that you get to wield, and they're very, very deadly. So, of course, Reaper's one is the Scythe, which is a minigun. His literal arm turns into a minigun. You've probably seen it in the trailer, and it feels exactly the same as the Death Machine. So it almost feels like that. I think it was like a 500, 600 score in their Black Ops 2 multiplayer. So it kind of feels like you got that kind of five or six kill streak on your arms. It's a very, very good weapon. The cooldown isn't really too bad on it. So you can kind of fire very quickly on it. And uh, of course, you can kind of like wield around with it. You can't really to be too aggressive because you'll probably get destroyed if someone's aiming down sight. But I found to be very successful with the thing. And you can see in this gameplay, I actually did pretty decently with the scythe. And uh, so far, I haven't seen any kind of uh, score streak that's similar to that in Black Ops 3. There's probably going to be a lot. There are lots and lots that are going to be coming on the way. But I said, so far, we didn't see any kind of death machine or war machine that allows you to like fire grenades or fire a minigun so either they're kind of built into characters or they're becoming later but i think a few of the school streaks have been kind of built into characters like the dude who can actually revive i forgot what his name is but he shoots that kind of hive grenade launcher i think that's kind of similar to the war machine so perhaps we'll have even more characters with even more school streaks that are built in and i really want to see what these future characters are going to look like but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this gameplay on the map stronghold definitely leave a like rating on this video if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more black ops 3 gameplay on this channel but i hope you guys enjoyed it stick around for more footage of their Black Ops 3 and more news and information, all that good stuff right here on this channel. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.